Welcome back to another awesome week of science. This week is going to be electrifying. We're gonna do all sorts of fun projects with electricity this week, which is gonna be so much fun. I love these projects. It's gonna be a really great time. If it's your first time joining us, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll get notifications when we go live and you won't forget about these awesome science activities. You can also support us for as little as a dollar a week on patreon.com slash rosyresearch and that will give you sort of emails right into your inbox with supply lists, any sort of printouts that we might use or support printouts that you guys can use and then you'll also know ahead of time what we're doing instead of just showing up and not being sure. Like always, we'll get to our shout outs for anybody who is here to join us today as we learn about electricity. But first, I wanna go over what you guys need just in case you need to go run and get things. We are going to make a battery today. You need a lemon, and if you don't have a lemon, you can use a potato, you could use an orange, you could use any sort of citrusy fruit or acidic item. You could even use like some vinegar, like a little bowl of vinegar. It'll be a little trickier, but you could do that. Um, but lemons are nice and easy, or so are oranges too. Um, you can use aluminum foil, so that's one option that I'll show you how to do this with. If you don't have aluminum foil on hand, you should be able to use like nickels or dimes instead of foil. You'll need a few pennies, and we're gonna want our coins to be nice and clean. Um, and if you want to sort of build up your battery to be a little bit stronger and hopefully power an LED, you're gonna need some paper clips for that part. And then you do need a knife. So if your parents are not comfortable with a knife, make sure that you, they're around to help you. We just need to make a few slices, nothing too bad though. And then if you are using aluminum foil, you're gonna want a pair of scissors. And that is all we need to make a battery. What? And to be honest, we don't even need, like we could make the battery with the penny, the dime and a lemon. We could probably skip the knife if we're strong enough. Kind of amazing. I'm so excited about this project. And I'm gonna show you one fun project I did with some of my students that we can post up the instructions on how to do if you guys wanna to try to do it, which is a lemon powered LED flower, which is really fun. I'll show you guys. I made these a long time ago, so hopefully they're still working. So let's, get to let's it. make some batteries. Now, this is kind of an interesting historical thing because we are gonna make a battery that's very similar to the first battery that was ever invented. And the, really the only big difference between our battery and the battery that Volta made is that we're using a lemon and he used brine, which is a salt water. Who's Volta? He was a scientist like way long time ago that discovered you could make electricity. So electricity uses something like a potential, which if you've been joining us this whole time, which a lot of you guys have, you will know that we've talked about things like potential energy, where if I raise my lemon up is a better thing to drop than scissors. I have, it has the potential to move now. I did some work bringing it up and it could potentially move. If I let go, it moved down. So that's like a gravitational thing, like Earth is doing that. I could pull a slinky apart and it would have the potential to move. Also, it would want to spring back to where it was. And there's also a chemical potential that we're gonna play with today which lets electrons have the potential to move. And when those electrons move, they can do really cool things. They can get really hot if we wanna be warm in the winter. They could jiggle around and get really bright, which is actually in a, most lights, heat. Or they could slide down their slide like an LED to make light. They could make something spin around. They could make something make a sound. So our chemical potential has actually a lot of cool possibilities and that these are things that we could do with lemons if we wanted to, which is kind of cool. Um, so that is, yeah, Volta sort of started that whole thing, which is kind of amazing. So that is, we're gonna make one of his batteries today. Super simple. What we're gonna do, if you have a lemon or an orange, you're going to just roll it on your table. We're gonna make it nice and squishy and what we're doing is we're getting the juices, those little tiny, these lemons have the pulp in them, which are like little cells, and the juice is inside those cells, and we are popping them so that the juice can just sort of flow around freely. And lemons, if you've tasted them, they taste pretty sour. They, in fact, taste a lot more sour than an orange, and that's because they're very acidic. So the lemons will work better than our oranges, but if you don't have lemons and you have oranges, no big deal. 
Potatoes also have some acids in them that will work for us. In fact, anything that's acidic you can work, use to make your battery, like sauerkraut, you can use sauerkraut. Kind of crazy. Um, probably acidic salad dressings, you could use acidic salad dressings. Balsamic vinegar? Uh, balsamic vinegar would work. I mean, the only difference is how good the acid is is going to determine how good our battery works. All right, so we have this acid that's nicely hanging out inside of our lemon, which is a nice thing about the lemon versus like a bowl of vinegar because it's nice and all contained. We have, we have a couple a more shout outs. Ooh, shout outs. We have Lily here. Hello, Lily. And it's then, good to see you today. You know, we thought that she wasn't here, but she was. Kaya! Yay! Hello, Kaya! I was shocked when I thought Kaya wasn't here. Yeah. Oh, it's Kaya missing science. And then we have. Jack, and he finished hey, hello, the Jack. Explorer series. <gasps> you did? Yay. I bet Isabella will want to chat with you in Zoom about how you liked the Explorer series. I'm on book three right now. I'm getting close. I'm kind of excited about it. Then we have... That's great. And if you haven't heard of the Explorer series, National Geographic makes some fantastic Explorer books. And they have some really cool science that's in them. And then they meet the scientists at the end of the book, which I think is cool. We also got Rohan. Hello, Rohan. And Welcome George back. and Henry. Yay! I was thinking, where is George and Henry? They're here. Of course they're, they're, here. Here. they're here. Yay. No worries. All right. So I have my nice little, very squishy, it's much squishier than these other ones now, um, lemon that's super juicy. And what we can do, this, the easiest way to do this is to take a penny and a nickel or a dime, or if you happen to have like a galvanized nail, you could do that. And you're gonna wanna wash these, so get them nice and clean um, with some soap or you could just rub them on your pant legs. That'll work. We wanna get them nice and clean. And we're gonna feel the electricity of a lemon through our tongue, which might sound funny. So you do want them clean because we're gonna put our tongues on them. Um, and what's gonna happen is we are going to put our lemon inside of our, our we're gonna put our penny inside of our lemon battery. And then we're gonna put the dime inside of our lemon battery. And what is gonna happen is that the metal on the dime is gonna get what we call oxidized. So it's gonna leave the dime, the surface of the dime, our acid's gonna eat away at it. And when it leaves, it's positively charged. Usually it's like zinc or positively charged aluminum for foil. Um, and that pos those positive charges are just sort of hanging out, which means there's also negative charges hanging out, those are electrons, and they are accumulating on this dime. There's gonna be a whole bunch of little negative charges on the dime. And we're gonna put the copper in there, and the copper could really use those negative charges if it wanted to, because it could use those negative charges and the extra hydrogen ions, because that's what makes an acid, is extra hydrogen ions. And it could take the negative charges here, and it could combine those negative charges with the positive hydrogens and make hydrogen gas. But it has to have a pathway to do that. And if we wanted to like light up an LED, we could actually just do that by connecting the two things together. And then the electrons would flow from our dime into our penny. And flowing electrons is a current which can light things up. We're also really good at conducting electricity. Not the best idea if you have a lot of electricity, because there are some parts of our bodies, mainly our heart, that reads, that uses electrical signals to actually know when to pump. So you don't want to put a whole bunch of electricity across your heart unless your heart stopped, in which case you want to restart it. And that's actually literally how we restart a heart. We put a whole bunch of electricity through your heart and your heart's like, oh, oh yeah, that's what I do. I do that. Yeah. And they start beating. We're made mostly of water and water's really good at conducting electricity. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our tongue instead of a wire or instead of a light to light up, or instead of a speaker to try to make go. And the reason for that is because if we want to do an LED, we would need three to five lemons in a row. And I'll show you how to hook them up if you are interested in that. Um, because each lemon creates like somewhere between like a half of a volt and a whole volt of electricity. And it takes three volts of electricity to light up an LED. So this one lemon will not light up an LED, but we can feel it through our tongue. All right, let's get to it. So what you need with your knife, you're just going to make a hole in your lemon. You're just gonna go straight down 
It's gonna need to be a wide enough slit that you can fit your penny into. And then you're also gonna do one with a dime and you wanna do them kind of close together, mainly because we're gonna put our tongue between the two. And you will slip your penny in. The bottom of the penny that's inside this lemon does need to touch that acid. So it needs to touch the lemon juice. Otherwise we can't create this lovely reaction where we have our hydrogen ions and our electrons. I can put my dime in the other side and I have officially made a battery. What, how cool is that? So right now the acid is eating away at the surfaces and it's making it so that the um, plating on our dime is going into the lemon, not very far, so it's not like it's way over here. It's going into the lemon a little bit which is leaving a whole bunch of little tiny negative charges on the dime. And this guy is just hanging out, but hydrogen ions are enjoying being around this. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna put our tongue here to bridge that gap. It'll give them a nice little highway for the electrons to go across and we can feel the electricity in our tongue. Just a note, if you have any kind of issues with electricity, don't do this. Yes, yeah. Don't do this if you have like a pacemaker. Do kids have pacemakers? Some kids do. Yeah. So, yeah, be smart. And you just go like this. And your tongue will tingle. Which is kind of cool. Which, that is the feeling of the electricity going through. If you want to make them slightly different, another way you could do this, if you're like, oh man, I wanted to use foil. I want to show you another way to make this battery. And that is you can cut a foil square and you can fold this square up a few times like this and it's gonna make a nice little skinny wire for us so I can fold it up I could even fold it up one more time like this and I could instead of putting my dime in here I could slip in this aluminum foil just like that and then I could also Touch the end of the aluminum foil to the penny. Well, not to the penny, to my tongue, and the penny to my tongue. Like that. And I can feel it zipping across to my tongue. Can you show us that again? All right, so <clears throat> I take the end of the aluminum foil and the penny, and I'm gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> and you can feel it tingle a little. Not a lot, it's just a little tingle because we don't have very much electricity going through. Georgia's making hers, so Georgia, you can mimic mine if you'd like to. Now, if you're kind of grossed out about putting your tongue on copper, a copper penny, I was actually thinking you could even use the copper tape that we use and you could fold it. I would fold it so it goes back on itself and you could instead slip this in here. All right. Naomi is worried about electric electrocution. Should she be worried you about You will not be electrocuted. So this is not like putting your stuff into the um the socket it's not gonna be like that so that's 110 volts that's not gonna feel good it's not even like when you have wool socks on carpet and you zap yourself on a doorknob because that's a much higher voltage as well this is less than a volt so it's not even like i mean you can really feel this tingle and i don't necessarily suggest this if you put your tongue across a nine volt that one is like a little is definitely painful it doesn't Feel great it won't hurt you but it doesn't doesn't feel great um this is just very mild it's a very small amount john is holding up a nine volt in zoom and trying it i can't feel it very well on the copper tape copper tape hmm. i can feel it a little bit that's one way to do it now let's say we want to make ours bigger what should it, what should it feel like can you describe the it sensation? should feel like a tingle so it's just like tingly like, like and not sizzle? even kind of like a sizzle like almost like you're drinking really dull carbonated water like you have a drop of really dull carbonated water so it's not even sparkly like carbonated water it's just like very it's almost like the feeling of flat carbonated water so it's not like a super bright i wouldn't call it a bright feeling but we can make that feeling a little bit brighter by adding more lemons all right, so and I will show you guys how to connect these. I'm going to put my penny back in. And we can keep the foil or you can keep your dime, depending on what you've been doing. Like pins and needles, maybe? Yes, kind of like 
pins and needles. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Georgia, I'm gonna ask that you please wait until maybe later to be using the knife on your own. All right, so if I want to make this a little bit stronger, I can add to my battery. And the way that I can do that is I can start all over. I can make my two slits just like that. And I'm going to pop in, I'm gonna alternate. So on this battery back here, I have the penny and then the foil. On the battery up front, I'm gonna have the foil on this side and the penny here. So it's gonna be sort of alternated like a checker box. I can make another piece of foil. So I can just fold this guy up just like the last one. And if you wanna add sort of extra lemons to your thing, that's where we're gonna need our paper clips at. So I'm gonna also slip this foil into the lemon. I'm gonna make my cut a little bit bigger because it's not as heavy. We'll just, I'm gonna twist my knife to make it nice and easy to get this foil in. Maybe I'll bend it too. Got the foil in so easily the first time. I'm gonna use a paper clip to push it in. And again, if you're having trouble, you wanna make sure that you are touching the juice of the lemon because we do need that acid to eat away at things. Having much more trouble getting the foil in on this one. Here we go, if I squeeze it, that'll work. There we go. So we've got all these guys nice and inside. Oops. And what I will do now is I'm gonna connect these batteries in series. So series is sort of like a if we're all holding hands and that makes it bigger. So instead of connecting it sort of bottom to bottom, top to top, which is called in parallel, we're gonna do bottom to top, to bottom to top, to bottom to top. So we're gonna sort of hold hands, which means that the aluminum part of one battery is gonna go into and touch the copper part of the other. And then I'll get my final thing between the two. So I'll connect the two by connecting copper and aluminum here. And then when I wanna test, I can put my tongue on this penny and use the aluminum from the other lemon which is gonna be tricky if we don't paper clip them in. Yeah, question. Um, we, European coins, because we have our friends from France here. Oh, bonjour, Barbara et Leonard. Um, do you yes. think that they just wanna use Ooh. foil, or do they need Foil paper? will work just fine. The copper, I don't know if France has coins made out of copper. Yeah. So if you don't have the copper coins, they do. You, you guys might have the copper tape, which I would maybe, I'm finding, I didn't feel it as much on the copper tape, but maybe if we made like a fan of copper tape like this, so we had a lot more of this copper exposed, and then we put that into the lemon, that could work equally well. Yeah, I don't know about French coins that have copper in them, but a foil is foil anywhere. Um, all right, so to connect these, again, I kind of have two batteries that look the same, but I'm going to flip one over so that I've got sort of this foil lined up with the penny on both sides. And I'm going to connect one of the foils to one of the pennies. And I'm just going to use a paper clip to do that. So I can just paper clip this guy in. So I'm going to put a paper clip around that lemon, or not the lemon, the penny. Shoot. And I can then paper, I can slip this into the paper clip so that they, they just need to make a contact with each other. And maybe I'm gonna paper clip them together and then stick it in, that seems easier. So here I have them paper clips together and I can smush this copper penny into that spot right there. And now I can put my tongue across the copper penny and this aluminum which is handy because I can lift them to the same thing and I should feel a stronger sensation. All right. So it's not, again, it's not going to be painful. It's not going to be like, it's not going to burn you or anything. It's not going to be like putting your tongue across a socket, which I highly suggest you do not do. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, it won't even be like putting your tongue across a nine volt. It won't even be like putting it across really like a double A battery. It'll be maybe about the same as a double A battery. You have to have a very interesting tongue to get across a double A battery, though. We might have to try it. We might have to get yeah. these copies. So, yeah, we can just put our tongue between these two. Uh, uh, uh. I can feel a little bit more. It feels like um, less pins and needles and more just sort of like 
I don't know, like mushiness across my tongue. Can I try? It's kind of interesting. You know what? I'm gonna let you try after. All right, so we can. Yeah, you know, I can sort of feel that. And if we string enough of these together, we could actually light an LED with it. And I kind of did that with one of my classes. We have these cool flower guys that we have, and you can make these at home if you want to. I All we're using here is corks. So if your parents are having some wine, you would have to order this copper wire, but I do have some copper wire that we twisted. And it's around these zinc nails. And between the copper wire and the zinc nails are little tiny pieces of paper, like paper towel, so that the copper and the zinc don't touch. And then I sort of connected the copper to the zinc and then the copper to the zinc, copper to zinc, so that we can add all those batteries, you know, head to tail to head to tail to head to tail. So this one I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little tiny batteries. And a while ago, I mean like a year ago, it would light up the LED. So we're gonna see if it does. Sometimes you have to press it just right. And I'm gonna use lemon juice instead of a lemon because it's obviously hard to make the lemon. I'm gonna put it this way to drop it on. And this will only last for like a certain amount of time because you're gonna obviously eat away the copper. My copper on the nails which where the lemon juice is at is like definitely brown. But we can always, there's no sense in not trying, right? Gotta get it on all of them. Yeah, let's add a little bit more here. It's easier if you do this with a little eyedropper. And I thought about double testing this before, but then I was like, if it works, then it'll just be on. Because they stay on for like a couple of hours. And then that would be less fun. Oh, yep, it's turning on. We're gonna have to get oven to, it'll, it'll kind of come up as we get it more wet. Yeah, we see but it. can you see that those little, the LED is flashing in a rainbow? which is really cool. It's getting a little bit brighter, I think, as the juice is getting absorbed into our little cloths, which is cool. And then we can also light up this bottom one, which is a separate battery set. And this is a fun project. If you love to sort of wind things and create sculptures, this is a really fun project. Um, and all you need is that copper wire and zinc nails with some corks. And it's just a lot of winding around some paper and then um after we wind around the paper i think i have the lemon juice but thank you and we're going to see if this one lights up you got to make sure that they don't touch each other as you're doing it can you um can i show you guys Ooh, i don't see why not i think hmm i don't see why not a lot of people have copper tape. A lot of people have copper tape. That's true. Maybe we could do this as a... So, I can show you guys. Hmm. That's a great... Oh, yeah. This one just turned on, too. You can see the blue. I think this one is just blue instead of a rainbow. These are really fun. They will stay on for hours as we go. And you're right. A lot of people do have copper tape, and you might have nails in your garage. Lots of nails are... Just what you need, like a stainless steel nail. Well, I don't know about stainless steel. Galvanized nails are what you really want. Um, so let me show you all. Ooh, do I want to take one of those apart? Let's, we could try with this if we have a paper towel. In fact, Evan, I know we have paper towels above our coat closet. And we could see if we could make this. And I could show you how to maybe make it with aluminum foil and um, copper tape. I'm not 100% sure about how many of these we would need to do that, but we could, why not try? All right, so let's say you wanna to try to make something like this. This is how you would make one battery cell. You're gonna take your aluminum foil, I'm gonna fold mine up a little bit tighter, like this, and you would take a paper towel, just a little piece of paper towel, and this is way too big. I'm actually gonna cut a skinny piece of it I think we actually even used toilet paper when I made this in our class. It just needs to be something that can absorb that liquid. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the paper towel around some of this aluminum foil for our friends who have copper tape at home and want to try this. This is a much more portable battery than your lemon battery. And I'm going to leave 
the both sides of my aluminum free. So I want to be able to access those later. And what I will do then is I'm going to wind my copper tape copper side down. So I'm not even going to take the white part off. I'm just going to wind it copper side down along that um, paper towel. I don't want it to touch the ends of the foil. So I need to make sure that these ends don't touch that copper tape. I can do that like this and I can just wind it and the more copper that you're touching the better. So we'll just wind it nice and good. And then here I've got one little unit. This guy, if we made another unit, I'll show you how you'll connect them. It'll be the same thing that we did on the battery. So here's one unit and I'll show you how to make another unit if you're following along and trying to make some sort of little sculpture that will light up an LED like these guys. Maybe slow down. So yeah, so again, I'm gonna cut a square in the foil and I'm gonna fold this foil up. I want it to be about the same, oh, that's perfect. The same sort of length as the other aluminum foil piece. So I'm gonna fold this in half as a rectangle. I'll, hold that, I'll fold that little piece up in half again. So I'm just getting this long skinny rectangle just like that and keep folding it in half. And you probably need at least seven or eight of these to be able to light up an LED if that's your goal. And so I'm just going to fold it again and again. I'm going to just get a nice, sort of like a stick. All right, so I've folded my foil into this lovely stick. And then I have to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it with some paper towel, leaving both ends exposed. And the paper towel allows us to have that chemical reaction between the aluminum foil and the copper tape but it doesn't let the copper touch because if the copper touches that aluminum foil, we'd made a short circuit. It would be like connecting the battery top to the battery bottom and then connecting our LED to it and being like, why doesn't the LED light up? Well, the electrons take the easiest way. And so we need to make them work for us. All right, so we need to make sure that the copper tape of this one that's on it doesn't touch the foil. So to do that, we're going to, again, cut a nice little strip of um, paper towel and this is very impromptu there we go we'll cut another strip of paper towel we're gonna wrap it around this aluminum foil leaving both of these ends open and this is so that we can absorb some of that lemon juice which is what's going to make our battery go I'm just gonna wrap this guy around just like that. And the more sort of paper towel we use, the more lemon juice we'll need to soak up, but that's okay. And I'm going to again take a piece of copper tape, taped copper side down, so it's going to be facing that paper towel. So we want the copper to be in contact with the juices from the lemon. So I'm going to put it face down and I'll see the white so that as I wrap it, it's always touching the paper towel, the copper. All right, it's never touching the aluminum foil. It's always touching the copper. And we're gonna wrap this one around, just like this. It's a little easier with the wire, just because the wire will stay sort of put, but we could put this underneath one of them. Or we could even actually paper clip it down. Let's use our paper clip for that. We'll paper clip this so it doesn't come unwound on us. Zoop. And we could paper clip the other side too. All right, so just like that, and I could paper clip right here. Notice I'm leaving a tail of copper tape. That tail is really important. All right, so now this guy can't really move. In fact, I'm gonna do it on this one too. I'm gonna add some, I'm just gonna paper clip that in place. Because when we do it with wires, the wires stay bent, but this copper tape wants to unbend which doesn't help us. All right, so I've got these guys. And just like the lemon battery, if I wanna connect the two, I can connect from like this side here. So from copper of one cell to the aluminum of the other cell. And we're gonna connect it down here. And we'll just putz it over a few times. And then my battery, on this case, I'm gonna actually fold this up to hold it in place. My battery is going to go from the aluminum here to my tongue. 
or to an LED. You have to make about eight of these. And I need to obviously soak it in lemon juice, which I spilled all over my table. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna soak up my own lemon juice from the table. Just like this. We'll just soak it up like that. And we wanna get as much of that paper towel wet as possible. Find all my little pools of lemon juice on the table. And then I can use my battery from these two points. So I can do this, that. It actually almost gives me a taste, like a salty taste or something. I feel like this one works better. If I want to, I can, I don't think this will light up an LED. We could try, but I could make another one. Maybe we should make another one. We'll see can if it lights up an LED. Can you zoom maybe? Oh yeah, in Zoom, that'd be a good spot. We'll do that in Zoom. We'll make a few more of these in Zoom and we'll attach them and we'll see if we can light up an LED with this sort of setup, which is kind of cool. I hadn't really thought about doing it this way, which is the bonus of having you guys with us. I kind of love that. All right, yeah, we'll go over to Zoom because it's already like it's just past noon. So if you want, hopefully you had fun with this. You can keep connecting these together and make an LED light up. If you connect about three to five of them together, um, or if you want, we're going to see if we can make something like these guys over in Zoom and light up an LED as well. So if you're just on YouTube, we'll say goodbye for the day. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, if you want those Zoom links, you can always find them in patreon.com slash rosyresearch. And make sure to spread the word about all of our fun science. We have three weeks, including this week, of some daily science activities. And then we'll start working on how we're going to do some summer science fun for all of our awesome friends that we have met so far. All right. Goodbye, my friends. We will see you tomorrow as we do what? Oh, squishy circuits. We're going to make circuits with Play-Doh tomorrow, which is going to be a lot of fun. All right. We will see you then. Otherwise, we'll see you in Zoom for lunch today. Have a good one, friends. Can I play? Yeah. This one, I think.